Hello and welcome to another episode of Sealed for Good. My name is Adrian and I'm part of the technical team here at Gripset and I'll be your host for today's episode. Uh, so thanks for joining us and uh, we hope you enjoy. So now let's look at uh, why coverage rates are important. Uh, and first and foremost, it essentially goes back to, to testing and product testing. Now, waterproof membranes are engineered specifically to perform a certain function under certain conditions. Now, this could be for external use in areas subject to weathering and UV, or quite commonly in under tile applications in wet areas and, and, and you know bathrooms, balconies, etc. Now, the only way a manufacturer can validate the suitability or the performance of a product uh, for a given application is through testing. For waterproof membranes, the two most common test standards are 4858 for internal wet areas and 4654 for external areas. Now under the standard, each membrane is uh, tested for basic water resistant properties, vapor transmission properties, elongation, tensile strength, all these number of things, uh, and a number of durability tests uh, that include chemical resistance, abrasion, UV, uh, just to name a few. Now the manufacturer of course would do their own initial testing, but in order to be recognized as an approved internal or external wet area membrane, uh, there needs to be independent testing conducted. So tests are conducted on cured dry membrane samples and the results are recorded. But what also is recorded is the thickness of the dry test samples. So the testing is completed and the samples pass. Now, these samples now represent the minimum thickness the membrane needs to be applied in order to meet the requirements of the standard because a thinner membrane thickness will yield a completely different result to the point where it may not even pass that standard. So there's a clear and obvious correlation between applying the product at the recommended thickness to ensure the durability of the membrane to withstand the conditions where the product is used. It's not just a random or arbitrary figure the manufacturer has pulled out of nowhere, it's based on fact. So outside of purely performance-based considerations for applying the product uh, properly or as it should, uh, there's the consideration for uh, independent uh, assessment by inspectors and certifiers. So there's some non-destructive testing now available to certifiers and inspectors to ensure the membrane has been applied uh, as per manufacturer's recommendation. So what it involves is like a probe on the surface of the dry membrane to detect layers and the total film thickness of the of the membrane. So they will reference, the certifier will reference uh, the manufacturer's data sheets uh, to de basically determine if the product has been applied uh, to spec. Now if not, uh, the contractor can and often will be called back to apply further coats uh, until the correct film thickness is achieved. Now the third reason that coverage rates are important comes down to liability and this is a particularly important uh, consideration for the contractor. So we've looked at the correlation between the membrane thickness and performance but let's, we think we need to address what happens uh, in the event of a waterproofing failure. So uh, what happens typically is that you know a site is inspected uh, and, an invest and an investigation is conducted uh, and often one of the first things that is looked at uh, if a tile is removed or if the membrane is accessible is the thickness of the membrane. Um, and even if the thickness of the membrane is, it may not be the primary source of the failure but then because it's not applied thick enough, everything else almost becomes redundant. It's not a consideration. It's just, okay, the membrane hasn't been applied thick enough, case closed. And that can often be the way that it goes. Uh, it can just, the investigation just be wrapped up without even looking at the primary sources. Just take everything up and reapply it. And last but not least is a consideration that's closely tied into the liability we touched on earlier, uh, is the issue of warranties. So any product warranty will only be valid if the product is applied as per manufacturer's recommendations. Now a key component uh, or key part of the manufacturer's recommendations is, of course, applying it at the specified coverage rate. So in summary, the liquid membrane should be applied at the specified coverage to ensure the durability and overall effectiveness of the system, 
uh, to be covered under the manufacturer's product warranty, ensure compliance when inspected, and to have the peace of mind the system is going to perform as specified because it's supported by evidence. And remember, applying the membrane at the required coverage doesn't need to be difficult and it can be achieved using three simple tools. This, this, and this. And it doesn't need to be any more complicated than, than that. So thanks again for joining us today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the episode and found it informative. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you again on the next episode of Seal for Good. Take care.